Hey everyone, this is Tina from Content Creators Club and I'm so excited to walk you through this tutorial on how I'm repurposing my blog articles in an automated way to create daily content for threads. So if you don't know who I am, I help content creators scale their content, impact, and income through no-code automation, affiliate marketing, and email marketing. So today we're going to be talking about the no-code part, but if you haven't already signed up for our Creators Club, I definitely recommend for you to do so. You get weekly tips where we show you how to do you know scaling your content scale your impact and scale your income everything of that nature but let's go ahead and get into the tutorial of this video so in the agenda today we're gonna to be talking about the problem that I have when it comes to you know creating more content for this threads platform the use case that I came across that I think would be beneficial for you to show and then the draw it with me plan where basically we're taking on a plan on how we think that this would work and you know walking you through you know in the plan to action walkthrough on how this actually looks like in real life and then we're going to talk about where you can get this no code workflow to really be able to create and repurpose content for the threads by Instagram platform so so if you haven't gone ahead and liked, commented, and subscribed, definitely feel free to do so. And let's go ahead and continue with this tutorial. So what is the problem that I'm having with this Threads by Instagram platform? Well, as a content creator, it's just another platform for you to create content on. It's very similar to Twitter. So if you are not familiar with Threads, essentially it's the newest competitor on the block for Twitter and you can only use it if you have an Instagram account and it's a brand new platform. So there's a lot of room for growth and experiment. However, you know, like I said, as a content creator, you don't want to feel like you have to take on another platform because it's just way too much work, especially if you want to see any ounce of success as a creator, you have to be on multiple platforms in order for you to do so. But also you feel like you just can't create more content from scratch, right? Like if you are creating content to begin with, you know, why don't we repurpose that content for the threads platform, leverage the traffic that is within threads by Instagram and just bring it that traffic more to our channels, our pay channels specifically, so that you can make more content, more impact, more income in your business, right? So essentially you're at a place where you wanna be able to leverage a new platform in the baby stages, gain traction by repurposing your content that you already have, and then really experiment with this platform so you have content to plug and play every day without necessarily thinking. So I you know, like this platform because it's in its infancy. I don't like how you have to create more content to handle that process. I'm gonna walk you through an automation that basically creates content for you on your behalf and all you literally have to do is just copy and paste it to threads. So I think that will be definitely something for you to look into. Now, when it comes to the draw with me plan, there are really four ingredients that are going to come into play to have this really work. So you're going to need an Airtable account. That is something for us to store all our content, our database, our medium links, everything of that nature. You're going to need to use ChatGP. So that's really kind of your mechanism. You're using AI to repurpose the content that you already have into threads that can be used for Twitter or threads by Instagram. And then you're going to use Zapier to kind of link the entire process to together to create that no code automation and then of course you're going to need a threads account in order for you to have a threads account you're going to need an instagram account so that is kind of the way for you to post content to threads by instagram all right so let's kind of go through the walkthrough in terms of the workflow drawings so excuse my drawing hand but basically this automation that i really thought of when i was creating this process was basically i want to have a trigger go off every day where it selects and looks within my content database and selects a random article and generates a thread on my behalf and then all i literally have to do is just copy and paste the posted thread that's all I want to do. I don't want to create more content from scratch. I just want to repurpose content that I've already created and drive traffic to the channels that allow me to get paid as a content creator. So that is kind of my thought process on how I wanted to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to get into the walkthrough tutorial. So if you are watching this video, you are definitely watching the tutorial. And if you're wondering where you can get this template, I definitely recommend for you to review the link in the blog or description. Complete disclaimer, I am an affiliate for the products that I use and recommend in this you know, video. But I do want to let you know that I only promote products that I use personally and that I stand by 1000%. I do make a small commission and no extra cost to you. But it's just a great way to support me during this journey so I can create more videos for you. 
And if you decide to purchase through any of my affiliate links, you don't have to whatsoever. But you know, if you do, then I will send you a thank you gift when you fill out the proof of purchase form, just so I can validate that you actually purchased through one of my links. So let's go ahead and keep going with this tutorial. So we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the housekeeping things that you need to do in order to kind of get to the next step. So one of the things that I want you to know, and this is specifically for medium creators, is that you need a way, in order for this automation to work, you need a way to have like a database of all your records within your, you know, articles, everything that you've posted on medium, you need to have a database of all those records. And the reason why I say this is because in order to get to the next step of you actually selecting a random record within a content database, you need a database. So I use our medium article database, but basically, what we do essentially is whenever you know a new record or a new article is going live on our channel it triggers this automation where we have this rss feed we take that information we do a little bit of you know finagling with the text so that we can you know have the link work well and then we create a record in Airtable so we can, you know, do the content or create the records for that database piece. Now, when you get to this template, I will say that this part won't be in the template because everybody has different content channels, but this is just something for you to know if you are a medium creator specifically. Now, let's walk through what it looks like once when you actually have that automation work for you in the back end. So essentially from that point on is whenever a new article comes onto our blog, it triggers that automation and then it just automatically takes the name of the article that we have and then posts the medium link. And then I have an automation as well in the back end where basically I, whenever a new record comes in, I want to essentially find the content that correlates to that specific record. So I have this little notes section as you can see, I have a call to action in every beginning of my content channel, but essentially I want to grab the content and, you know, find that information for me. The next thing that you'll notice is that we have a number sequence here. So I like to think of this number process as um, an ID for us to reference in order to find that article. It's gonna make more sense in just a second, but I really want you to think of the piece of, we need to find a random article in order for us to create content daily. So in order for me to do that, I need to have a number associated with the records in order for me to reference, which is gonna get into this tutorial right here. But this is kind of, you know, the actual walkthrough process. So every day in Schedule by Zapier, we trigger this automation every weekday specifically, because we don't like to work on the weekends, but every day specifically at 8 a.m., this is gonna trigger this walkthrough. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the formatter step to essentially choose a number randomly between a one to 117. So as you can see, the number that we have here is one, all the way to 117. Now I will say this is not a perfect automation. If you have more articles coming in, this number will get larger over time, but this is not such a big deal because you're just repurposing content that you've already created. But basically I want to reference on where that number is coming from. But one through 117, I want you to pick a random number. Now in this automation it did, and then once when you actually have that number, I want you to find the record associated with that number that you automatically generate. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the find record and air table step. And specifically, you're going to search by the field, the number field. And then we saw it in the output in step two, it found that specific item. And then once when it actually finds something, that's the content that you're going to use in order for you to continue on to the next step. Now, I've added a piece specifically here, and this may be pertinent for anyone who gets our Medium article database and you're standardizing your templates, but basically, I actually want to separate my content, so what specifically is the content within that piece, you know, take out all the call to actions aside. But that's just housekeeping things for you to know. And then we have an automation in play where it's a conversation in ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually going to take that content that it's found from the random article piece and it's going to summarize this into a twitter thread i don't think personally ChatGPT knows what threads by instagram is quite just yet because you know 
they it just hasn't gotten there yet but I think they definitely know what a Twitter thread is which you can apply the same concept into you know threads by Instagram but basically the prompt that I'm giving it is you know take the content generate a Twitter thread summarizing the content above with an opening hook and then Basically, we're going to use GPT-4, so I do have access to GPT-4, which is quite awesome. And I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside in terms of the action of what it came, came out with. So it randomly selected an article and this is the output, right? So what's really great is that it just repurposed all the content. It summarized the content that I've already had into a Twitter thread. And all I have to do at that point is just, you know, put it into my database again in order for me to reference and go on my phone on Airtable and just repurpose it to threads by Instagram. So we're going to do just exactly that. We're going to create a record in Airtable. Specifically, we're going to put the content right here. We're also going to reference the Medium link. So read the full article here. And that's kind of the second piece of you want to drive traffic to your paid channels. Medium, you do get paid if people who are a paid subscriber of Medium read your content. So, you know, take advantage of that. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a call to action to join our content creators club. I'm going to tell you to join our content creators club, but this is another channel for us to leverage where we're going to leverage the traffic from Instagram, um, threads by Instagram, and we're going to repurpose it and drive traffic to our other channels. Really from that point on, we're just going to do a little bit of housekeeping right here. And then what's also great is that, you know, you didn't just create content instagram threads by instagram but you also you know create a twitter thread so why not just actually post the twitter thread in addition to that so if you're having this automation i kind of thought it would be really cool to do that so i personally love and use typefully it has a xavier uh, xavier integration in order for you to automatically take your content and auto thread it and put it in there it's not really purposes for this video but it's something for you to watch out where if you want to do it you could do it now let's kind of walk through what the output looks like when I actually do this. So basically what I have right here is it took the content from this piece from this, you know, when we created a record in Airtable, this is what it looks like in actually Airtable. So this is the content. I didn't actually create the content myself. I used AI to create content for me. And then basically what I do, which you'll see in the next video in just a second right here, is I just put that information and I just copied and pasted it into the threads. And that was it. So if you are looking for a way to automatically create daily content for threads by Instagram without actually having to create content from scratch and just repurposing your current blog articles using AI, you could do just that so that all you have to do is just copy and paste into threads by Instagram. So just go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. And I really hope this video has been helpful. And in just a second, I will show you what it looks like in practice. Thank you. Bye. So here's how I use AI and no code to automatically take my content and repurpose it for threads. So basically I have a workflow where I randomly select an article to take my content, basically create a thread and repurpose it using AI to create a Twitter thread. And then I take that content, post it into Airtable. And from that point on, all I have to do is go into threads, paste it into this content right here. What's really cool is that all I have to do from that point on is just press return and separate the videos individually which is awesome because this tool actually just you know threads auto automatically does it for you so all you have to do is just press the return icon and you are all set to go honey like it's really not that big deal so that is how you use ai and no code to repurpose your blog articles for your threads content see you in the next video